Well, uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name's Alan Higgins. I usually go under the name of Higo. Um, I've been a Derby County supporter since 1964, quite a few years. Uh, over the years we've seen some highs and we've seen some lows on and off the pitch as Derby County supporters. Um, I'd like to uh, travel home and away to, to watch the Rams and it, nothing else gives me a bigger thrill than watching the Derby County uh, run onto that pitch. Um, once again, we have now got into the promised land of the Premiership for the 2007 and 2008 season and uh, I'm sure you, the same as myself, are really looking forward to it. Uh, I've had a little glance at the fixture list, we've all been waiting for the fixture list and now it's finally arrived and uh, there's a few mouth-watering um, matches in there as, as we would expect. Um, the opening of the season, which obviously starts with uh, Portsmouth at home and uh, looking down here with a fixture list in front of me, uh, we've got Manchester City then away, Tottenham away and then Birmingham at home. So uh, a lot of Derby County supporters out there are thinking we've got quite a, an easy start to our new Premiership campaign. And on the surface of it, uh, it does seem that way. Uh, we could have, uh, of course, got some really big games such as Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea at home in the first few matches, and we haven't. Um, but the, the opening fixture against Portsmouth, uh, I don't think we should be underestimating Portsmouth for, for one second. Uh, Harry Redknapp's done a, a, a marvellous job there at Fratton Park and uh, I think Portsmouth only just uh, missed out on Europe last season. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, that's uh, it's, it's a good opener for us. It, it eases into our Premiership life. And then we're, on the Wednesday the 15th, we, of course, we're away at Manchester City. Manchester City, well, last season, I don't think they have seen many goals at the uh, City and Manchester Stadium. I'm sure uh, lots of Rams fans are... Uh, Looking forward to a trip to the new City of Manchester Stadium anyway. Uh, I haven't been there myself to see England, so uh, but I am looking forward to going again. A uh, bit of a topsy-turvy tur turvy season for uh, Manchester City. Uh, depending on what players they bring in this season, maybe we could get something there. Bit of a shock there, maybe. And then, then Tottenham away. Well, um, Tottenham. Uh, the way they're heading, if they're bringing in the, the right players, I think Tottenham could be a team that finishes really, really well in the Premiership next season. Um, White Hart Lane, I've got to say, White Hart Lane is one of my favourite Premiership grounds uh, and always has been. Uh, something that I think uh, the close proximity of the, uh, the the crowd to the pitch has something to do with it. A good atmosphere created at White Hart Lane. Wouldn't expect us to get a lot there, that m must be said. And at home to Birmingham, uh, that's on Saturday the 25th. Um, well, last season, as we know, we didn't get anything out of Birmingham City at all over the two games that we played them. Uh, to say a fluky goal for Birmingham at uh, Pride Ball last season, that would be an understatement, wouldn't it? And, uh, but I thought we played well at home against Birmingham and I thought we played well away against them. Uh, uh, they scored the goal to win the game, but I thought over the two games, I thought maybe we deserved something, at least a point from one of the games. So that's certainly in four fixtures. If I was going to hazard a guess, um, I would say him at what, maybe seven points. Am I being optimistic there? Who knows? Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, of course, throughout the season um, on the Saturday, twenty second of uh, September, uh, I'm really, I think this is a game I'm really looking forward to because we're playing Arsenal away, and uh, that's going to be at the Brands Bank in New Emirates Stadium. So I'm really looking forward to that. Not been there, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, Big clash at home in November, Chelsea, Chelsea at home. We're really looking forward to that. And obviously, just prior to Christmas, uh, December day, we've got Man United. Uh, the one I am looking forward to at home, Boxing Day. How oh, fantastic, fantastic. Liverpool at home on Boxing Day. Doesn't really get much better than that. Christmas, Boxing Day, and Liverpool at home. So I'm really looking forward to that game. And as we go on to, towards the end of the season, and uh, getting into into March, we've gone the 8th and the 15th of March. Chelsea away, Man United at home. Oh, really two crucial games again towards uh, the nitty gritty of the season. So uh, let's hope by that time that uh, Derby County have got enough points to uh, keep us up that season, this season. Um, in the running, um, well, if, if I just say that the last four games, we've got West Ham away, Arsenal at home, Blackburn away and Reading at home. So, you know, again, looking at you've got West Ham, Blackburn and Reading. You know, those are sort of games where you would look that we could get something out of. I'm not so sure about Arsenal. Uh, 
but I really think that we could get something out of it. So we've got a really exciting Premiership season coming up. Um, if I was going to answer the guess in those those matches, um, one about five or six points. Being optimistic again, I don't know. Um, I, what I do know is that today Derby County have bought Robert Earnshaw for three and a half million. Um, I was sort of wondering about whether I thought it was a good buy or not. Uh, when we went to Carroll Road, Norwich last season, when we won 2-0, if you remember that, um, I remember thinking to myself at the time, I hope Earnshaw wasn't playing. I think he was injured at the time, and I was really hoping he wasn't playing. So the fact that I was hoping he wasn't playing, I must have feared him, so I must rate him. So obviously, um, he looks like he's going to be uh, the style of player, the type of player that we do need a Derby County to sort of run off uh, Stevie Howard. Three and a half million, only time will tell whether that's going to be worth the money or not. So we're, we're up and running with the players. Uh, the new season is just around the corner. And to be honest with you, I just can't wait. So uh, thanks very much from me and I'll see you next season. Good luck Rams fans. Bye.